Yo what's up guys this is Aprix here today in this video I'll be talking about the truth regarding PlayStation 3 emulation on Android and it's going to happen very soon because as you may know there is already one PlayStation 3 emulator for Android which is currently under development I'll be talking about it in today's video we'll be also talking about our PCS3 PS3 emulator will it be coming to Android devices if you guys don't know what's our PCS3 it's basically the first open source PlayStation 3 emulator ever it currently works only on PC and let me tell you guys that there is a huge possibility of RPCS3 going under development for Android devices. Now let me start off by stating that developers of RPCS3 can easily port the RPCS3 emulator to Android. But the reason why they are not doing so is because of the compatibility. Our Android devices currently are not capable of emulating PlayStation 3 games at full speed and hence the developers are currently holding off on porting the first PS3 emulator for Android. One of the developers even released an official statement regarding our PCS3 Android. According to him, there is no non-X86 Android device out at the moment that can handle the emulator properly regardless of the cost. It doesn't seem worthwhile for now. Technically, you could build RPCS3 for Android as a native application like just normal porting uh, but given the performance we see even on Mac laptops it is going to be a tough sell. Maybe in a few more years this message was sent on the official RPCS3 discord server development chat in the past year so it's already been a year since that we now have snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor which is really capable in terms of everything i recently purchased oneplus 11 which has that processor and i have already filmed an emulation test video so if you want to see that be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i have tested out nintendo switch emulation on snapdragon 8 gen 2 and let me tell you guys that it ran surprisingly well. Now let's get back to the topic of PlayStation emulation on Android. Recently we got Vita 3K emulator which is PS Vita emulator for Android. It doesn't run that well even on flagship devices which is disappointing. Let's also consider the Ether SX2 emulator, a PlayStation 2 emulator for Android which is capable of running games at 60 FPS on even mid-range Android devices. It is really optimized and its performance and stability are amazing. But even in 2023, the Developers of RPCS3 do not consider Android devices to still be compatible for PlayStation 3 emulation and hence they are not porting it right now. Let me also give you guys another information that there is already a PlayStation 3 emulator for Android which is currently under development by the same people who created Daemon PS2 emulator and the Daemon Switch emulator. But as you know, those two emulators are completely unusable because they uh, don't provide good compatibility and good performance. Its developers announced that they will be launching Daemon PS3 emulator in 2023. Yep, that's true guys. They did announce that but they will probably delay it for more two years. But if they keep their promise, we might be getting the first ever PlayStation 3 emulator for Android devices this year itself. Even though I am pretty sure they will not keep their promise, they like to delay things a lot. Uh, the Daemon Switch was scheduled to release in 2022 but as you see, it's released on 2023. That's why you cannot really believe the Daemon emulator team. And even if they do release the PlayStation 3 emulator, it will probably be filled with ads and will be unusable until you actually purchase their subscription. And I have been making videos on emulators since 2018. So let me give you guys my honest opinion on if PlayStation 3 emulation is currently possible on Android. I do think it's possible, at least for flagship devices, I believe uh, with my heart that they will be able to emulate few low-end games at decent FPS and maybe even high-end games but with only 3 to 10 FPS. If we ever get a PlayStation 3 emulator for Android, it will be game changer in terms of what we can actually play on our mobile devices. So let's hope for the best and within the next few years, we might actually get the first ever PlayStation 3 emulator for Android. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.